quick video today. We've got oxygen sensor codes, AKA O2 sensor. Now that is hiding all the way up here. So we're gonna move this shield out of the way. Let's see, it plugs in right there. So we're gonna unplug that and pull this wire back. Where is it? There it is. All the way up there. Normally, that would be stuck on this nut right here. Obviously, that nut's missing. Let's see if we can fix that. Looks like we got a little bit of an exhaust leak down there, too. This is all dry soot on my hands. Yuck. So, we'll start with a 10 millimeter. We want to make sure when we're done, this wire ends up on top of the heat shield again. So I'm not even going to disconnect it. I'm just going to swing this out of the way. Right there is our O2 sensor. Right there, we're going to pop that out. So kind of like most of you at home, I don't have all the tools I wish I had. So I'm using a 7 8 inch crow foot. We got loud traffic around here, don't we? Come on, get on there. Let's see if we bring this out this way. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> And that is up to the German spec, good and tight. I could try to put a torque wrench on that, but my service manual only tells me how tight to tighten the fasteners on the heat shield. It doesn't tell me how tight to tighten the O2 sensor. Around the heat shield where it won't get damaged. Under the turbo inlet. Now it's on there all the way. Now we're going to save this off the old one. Put a new zip tie on it. No need for it to be too tight. Just got to hold on. Pull one of these out of the junk drawer. Little uh, captive washer. Slow it down so it's just a little more than snug. <laughs> 